Well, the next part of the journey was actually um, going into hospital, getting my head shaved, um, done very, very badly by registrar there. Um, and then going into theatre, I guess, which was very daunting. Uh, I, before that, I'd had all the MRIs and things, but um, yes, I was very nervous. I didn't know, I mean, brain surgery always has these big connotations. Um, and going into theatre and being awake through the whole thing, I think is actually good in a way, because at least they can't do anything that you don't know about. But it's also, um, um, Yes, you're still awake and, and because it went on for quite a long time, I was, yes, dying to rub, you know, scratch my nose and I wasn't allowed to and uh, things like that. Uh, it wasn't painful, but it was, it, it was a bit scary because you can hear them drilling into your skull and you think, oh, it doesn't hurt, but, you know, it could. <laughs> and, but it all went smoothly and um, Richard talked right through it yeah. and, um, Yes, so that was the next part of the journey. Then about a week later, I had the um, stimulator implanted, um, and then which was pretty much a non-event. It wasn't painful, or and then I went home for six weeks um, and until they turned it on, and that turning on was a uh, a pretty momentous day, much more momentous than I expected, because I really felt. I had given this my last shot, that was my last big shot to have DBS and okay I'd done that, I didn't really think it would work, I thought it was worth giving it a go but I really didn't have a lot of faith in it. And I can just remember being there um, and um, them turning it on and my fingers starting to shake and, um, and just uh, and that sort of thing happening and, and then ask, asking me how, how did I feel, what was my mood, and saying, well, my mood's about the same, I can, you know, I can hear sounds better, the room looks a bit brighter. But, and then I started feeling happier, and I thought, oh, I wonder if I'm really feeling happier or whether it's just um, wishful thinking. Um, anyway, but I was feeling happier, and I was saying, and then all of a sudden I felt terrible. I just felt back into the black, back into the abyss. And I said, you know, what's happened? Why am I feeling so terrible? And Paul, who was doing it, said, well, I'm sorry. He said, um, it's, uh, I just turned the um, stimulator off to try some new settings. And I didn't realise he turned it off. And that's when I thought, hey, this must be actually working because when he turns it off, I feel so bad. Um, so that was actually the start of a whole new um, era in my life, um, a whole new beginning. And I remember ringing my husband from the clinic I was staying at at the time and saying, you'll never guess what happened today. And he was on the other end of the phone and we were both actually having a little bit of a cry because it was just so, after all, you know, this time, it was just so lovely to actually feel some hope. And, um, and since then, it's actually really, it has been a whole new beginning. Um, I enjoy life again. I enjoy my grandchildren. I enjoy my husband. I been overseas and in, a couple of times and enjoyed that. Uh, life's back to, you know, we can plan things and enjoy things and enjoy being with each other and with everyone else. Going out with friends now, and I think you appreciate all these things so much more because you've been without them. Um, going out with friends, learning the ukulele, just ordinary things, but things that I couldn't enjoy for five years and now I do again. And so that's what DBS has done for me, I think, really. Um, yeah, it's been changed my life, yeah.